last couple of days, okay? Uh, and we've been so busy with the work we're doing that I just haven't been able to get to it. On the screen right now, uh, you'll see we did a report way back when the CNN crisis actor was caught way back when. And Okay, gang, uh, what is this video about? So this is my personal forecast on the economy. My background is in finance. Um, I did mortgages, I did loans, I did real estate. So study of cycles was important. And guess what? I decided to open the first restaurant back in 2008, which is the worst time that somebody can think about opening a restaurant. But guess what? In every crisis, there is opportunity. So historically, the market corrects itself every 8 to 10 years, depending on which school of thought you follow. And guys, uh, this beautiful country of ours is due. Um, and these are the elements that will trigger you, that should trigger any person with financial sense that it's about to happen. One, the gas prices are low. Two, the interest rates are low. And despite these two things, the economy is pretty stagnant. It is not picking up. The numbers are not progressing. You want to add to that uh, the following. Uh, one of them is the properties on the market stay longer. If you look at the average time a property stays on the market, it stays longer. Also, people used to offer prices, at least here in the Silicon Valley in California, 120% of asking price. You ask for $100,000 or a million, the people automatically give you a 1.2 instead. Now, the offers are dribbling down to 95%. Um, so all of these are factors. Also, in 2008, pretty much what was done is that lots of paper bills have been printed. Okay, and that's allowed to fix the problem. We lost gold standards. Normally, before the Federal Reserve Bank used to print bills secured by a certain quantity of gold, that has disappeared. So, the only thing that is holding the strength of the US dollars nowadays, and this is my pure speculation. Follow it or not at your own risk, but this is what the way I'm living my life. The way it's going to happen is this time. The only thing that's holding the confidence of the U.S. dollars is the view that the world has of the U.S. economy. And uh, I love this country to death. It gave me so much. And it is a model for so many. But uh, between the election forecast, between the economical factor, because, because of the fact that the money is not secured by gold standards anymore, they think it's going to crash. What does it mean to you, the real estate owner, but also the business owner? If you're a real estate owner and if you're planning to sell your home, sell it now. Discount that price, get it out if once you still have buyers that are still excited to buy. There is always going to be people that buy. People that go through divorce, people that want to relocate, people that want to upgrade. Some people will still be successful, but it's going to be harder. There is less and less of those. So if you want to sell, this is the time to sell. Contact me. I can help you with that deal. I am a real estate agent. Yes, this is a sales pitch indeed. And uh, option number two is if you can wait. If you say you're going to wait, be ready to wait for a good seven or eight years until the market readjusts, maybe faster, maybe later. Uh, in regards to a business, if you were planning to buy a business, I would recommend waiting. Yes, I'm not going to close the deal with that, but this is not the right time to buy a business as of now, probably within the next three, six months, all the way to a year. What does it mean? Can you start getting ready now? Yes, you can start getting ready now. It's never too late to get ready. So um, if you found some value in this, I hope you're going to put them to good use. I can help you with that if you want. I'm not required. This information is for free. But that's uh, Sham's forecast on the, the economy uh, for the end of 2016 and 2017. And uh, remember, the secret ingredient is love.